and so Piglet Proot... Once Eeyore fell asleep, Piglet became the hero of Eeyore's dream world as well. Ed figures all the colors have gone away. I'm sure if Piglet were here, he'd make this gray day seem a little brighter. Thought Eeyore, falling asleep, and that's exactly what he dreamt about. Piglet! Hey, Piglet! Oh, hello, Will. You know what's happening here? I'm not sure, but this place is a little scary. Everything's kind of dark. Eeyore sure seems to be sad, even for Eeyore. You're right. Maybe that's why his dream is so dark. Do you think you could cheer him up, Piglet? You gotta be careful, though. There are woozles all around. Rusty old gate was locked. All Piglet had to do was find the key which would open it. Now Piglet looked at this rather odd object, asking himself what it could be. And as he looked, it came to him. It was a hook. Rusty old key. Now what do you suppose it could be used for?
Although it was very heavy, Piglet managed to pick up the bell. Piglet now knew that to open doors, he would have to be very brave. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, Piglet. Oh, hello, Eeyore. How are you doing today? As good as can be expected. Are you sad about something? Not less than usual. It's just kind of gray in here is all. I did notice that there are a lot of colors missing. Yup, that's true. But I'm used to it. Don't worry, Eeyore. I'll find all the colors of your dream for you. That's very kind of you, Piglet. Piglet. Yes, Eeyore? Thanks for noticing me.
Piglet was able to see the ball of colour in the bottle. He would have liked to take it back to Eeyore, but how could he possibly uncork the bottle? Piglet could see that there was a flag with a symbol of a sword on the wall. What a rather strange picture. Well, it certainly should be straightened. But how would Piglet go about doing that? Piglet wanted very much to catch the ball of colour bobbing in the fountain. He would first need to stop the water from bubbling. But how? Ah, at the base of the fountain there was a sort of hole in which he could put something. 
but what to put there? Unfortunately, the cord was too high for our small friend Piglet to pull. How was he to reach it? So Piglet picked up the corkscrew.
to catch it. the colors. And then Piglet came to a rather peculiar statue. The statue was holding a ball of color, which he wanted very much. If only he could make the statue's arms open. But how?
The valve would not budge. Piglet told himself that he should try to find another way of removing it. That's it. It's turned off. That's it. It's turned off. That's it. It's turned on. That's it. It's turned on. Finally, Piglet managed to release the valve. And then Piglet came to a rather peculiar statue. The statue was holding a ball of color, which he wanted very much. If only he could make the statue's arms open. But how? Ha! I have to catch it! Thank <laughs> you. 
And so, Piglet managed to catch the feather. I have to catch it!
It sure is pretty with all the colors back, if you like that sort of thing. Oh no, looks like we've got visitors. But it's too dark, we can't see anything at all. Maybe we should light the candles. What a good idea, Eeyore. I'll go ask Rue to lend us his lamp. You think I might borrow your lamp? Sure, Piglet. Thank you. Piglet, I think I'm gonna go home. It's just too dark in here. Good luck. And so Rue very kindly gave his oil lamp to his good friend Piglet. Thanks, Piglet, for lighting the room again. <laughs> my, my. What do we have here? You may have frightened me last time, but that won't happen again. Try to frighten me. Go ahead. Woo! I'm so scared. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's only you. Sorry to have frightened you. Seems to happen a lot. Oh no, it's all right. I'm very happy to see you. Well, thanks for saying it. I want to thank you, Piglet. You brought the colors back in my dream. You lit the candles again. And because of you, there are no more heffalumps in my house. <laughs> because of, of me, Eeyore? Yup. And you did it all just to help me. Thanks for cheering me up, Piglet. 
Oh, you're welcome, Eeyore. <laughs> and so it was that Piglet proved. Yet again, that despite the obstacles, and despite his fears, if you wish hard enough for something, you can make your wish come true. Having all the colors back kinda turns a gray day sunny. Thanks for your help, Piglet. It's raining. Oh, my carrots. My carrots! <laughs> and a little bit of tiss. Look at my stripes. My wonder must tiggerfy stripes. <laughs> My carrots! My, my carrots! Yeah. <laughs>